Yo, what is up everyone? Hope you're doing well. Just want to do a very quick video on these Converse One Stars. These are the Sad Boys collab. So not only did Young Lean and work on these, but also Blade, which I know Blade is in Drain Gang, not Sad Boys, but Blade did actually work on these sneakers and help design them. And so those are two of my favorite artists. And if you follow me on Instagram, you probably get really annoyed of me taking screenshots of me streaming their songs and uploading it to my story. So sorry if it annoys you, I just do it a lot. Young Lean did have a Converse collab last year, which were like the neon green. It had like a all suede upper with white stars and then uh, on the toe cap right here, it was like lime green with some graffiti. Really cool shoe. However, the retail prices on those were like super, super high. Um, and just the supply was just not there. Um, however, they came up with these and the supply is way more abundant. So I ended up picking up a pair just for retail. And um, right now you can find them on StockX, Grail, like a bunch of websites for right around retail. Um, so with that being said, let's go ahead and get into the video. Before we get into the shoes, I just want to touch on the box. It's kind of a cool little design. It says Sad Boys 2002 on top in this kind of reflective print. Converse, same print right there. Um, here you do have a sketch done by Blade himself. Bless. And then over here you do have a Sad Boys gear logo right there. Um, but kind of a cool little box. Other than that, nothing special. I don't buy shoes for the boxes, but I just thought I would share that. But moving on to the shoes themselves, as you can see, they do come with two different laces, a black pair and then a white pair. The white pair does have some like glitter uh, sewn in with the fabric. So when you get up close, it is kind of glittery. And then on the black pair, on they have like one of these metal little accessory eyelet things. What are these called? They always come on Air Force Ones. I don't know what they're called. Um, you would think I would know, but I don't. And then the white pair has a black little eyelet accessory thing. I actually think these shoes can pull off the glitter laces really nicely. I think it just works really well with the whole aesthetic of the shoe. And it's actually quite subtle. You don't notice the glitter unless you're like kind of really up close. So I actually think the glitter laces look better in my opinion. I would have never thought I would say the words. I actually like the glitter laces more, but you know, never say never. Anyways, uh, so these are basically just standard Converse One Stars. So the whole construction of it's pretty much the same. And I think the use of materials is all the same as well. So the only difference is the aesthetic design of these sneakers. So midsole, standard Converse One Star sole here. You do have some really bright neon orange going all the way around it. And then on the heel here where it does say Converse All Star, um, it is in that same bright neon orange and then going up the heel you do have that same sad boys 2002 logo on the heel so i think that's a cool little design the main upper it is a black canvas material but it does have this kind of silver metallic printed all over it and kind of this really kind of loud design here and then the one star itself it is kind of an iridescent holographic material so i really think that plays in nicely with the whole look and aesthetic of this sneaker and then the toe box and tongue it's made up of a leather but it whatever they coat it with if you catch it in the right light it almost has an iridescent holographic sheen to it but then at the top of the tongue you do have a little sketch done by blade himself so i have been blessed and then the insole actually does have a quite a crazy design in it as well, but no one's gonna see that except for you really. Another unique thing with these shoes is actually the soles are translucent, so you can see the design on the bottom here. And on the left shoe, it does say Sad Boys on the bottom, and then on the right, it does have the Sad Boys gear logo right there. I just think it's a really cool touch with these shoes. But yeah, other than that, there's not much else to these shoes, but I do wanna share an article with you guys that uh, Hype Beast did right and they kind of explained kind of the design behind these shoes. Okay, so uh, here's just this really short article I want to share with you guys from Hype Beast. Yeah, Young Lean and Sad Boys has teamed up with Converse once again for the release of another one star, this time enlisting the Swedish creative blade phrase. I thought this was really interesting, but Young Lean and Blade came together to create a sneaker that portrays the world as they see it, that being troubled but beautiful. Um, and it kind of, if you look at the shoe, it does kind of have a chaotic design to it, but it's still a very cohesive aesthetic to it. So, I don't know, I just thought this was pretty cool. Um, and now in this collection here, 
They do have a t-shirt and then like this like mini backpack and then mini backpack was kind of cool, but like I would never use it because what can you put in it? But anyways, I just thought that was a cool little article and I'll link it down below if you want to read more about these. Also, I did forget to mention sizing. These run very large, like with all Converse. So I sized a full size down. So usually I wear 12 and I got them in 11 and they fit really good. Um, the thing with Converse usually is usually the toe kind of curls up. So if you go true to size, it's going to be extra big. It's going to really kind of clown up. Um, so that's just like a little pet peeve of mine. So definitely just, I would size down um, since they do run large, so. Now, when it comes to styling this sneaker, because it is on the loud side, I would just keep the rest of the outfit a little more on the subtle side. Um, but these aren't like super, super loud. Like you can still wear it with like, just like some jeans and a t-shirt and still I think they will look good. But this is definitely a streetwear shoe. I won't be wearing this with any like techie outfits at all. Um, so the outfit I put together with it, I do, do just have a pair of kind of basic uh, green baggier cargo pants and then just a white long sleeve t-shirt. But I've actually been wearing this hoodie a lot with it because of the holographic iridescent uh, touches throughout the sneaker. I thought the lavender kind of fit the tone of kind of the glossy, like dreamy iridescent kind of feel to it. Um, but I do think the green cargos contrast really nicely with the neon orange, kind of gives it a little bit of a hunter vibe. I always think orange and green contrast very nicely together. Yeah, I think these are actually quite easy to style. Just to wear it with any streetwear fit um, and keep it on the simpler side and I think it will look very good. So yeah, that's how I'm gonna style it. Anyways guys, thank you for stopping by. Hopefully you enjoyed that quick video. I really wanted to pick up these shoes because I am such a big fan of Young Lean and Blade and Echo 2K, Thai Boy, that whole group. Um, well, I guess those two whole groups um, because they're separate. I was kind of iffy on these at first, but they've really grown on me, especially once I put the glitter laces on them. I just think it really completes the look of these shoes. And when I first got these, I was gonna potentially sell them um, just because the previous pair resold for like a, quite a ridiculous amount. But the reselling them is like pretty weak. And I'm like, you know what? They're some of my favorite artists. Let me go ahead and keep them. So yeah, um, thank you for stopping by. And if you guys have any video suggestions, leave them in the comments below and I will see you in a video very soon. And thank you to everyone who subscribes, by the way. I really do appreciate every single one. So see ya.